Well, thinking he was on deck to take to the mat, a Greenville County High School wrestler was in for quite the surprise. That's right. He had no idea yeah. that his semen brother was home for a very short trip, and their emotional reunion was really something else. As the Woodmont High School wrestling tournament gets underway. I thought I was about to have a match. I thought I was going to get a At first, I just thought he was wanting me to work tables or something. Wrestler Jesse Royal and his brother Taylor made their way to the front. I didn't know until he, like, until I saw him, I didn't. I had no idea. It wasn't until these two turned around that they realized the oldest of their trio, Russell, was home. I was shocked. I was like, I had no idea. I thought he was still in Japan. After a few days in Virginia, Russell and his parents arranged the surprise homecoming. Eight, almost nine months since I've seen him. You know, that I used to be a wrestler myself, and you know. I was, you know, they, I heard his tournament was today, so that's pretty much what I wanted to do. It's been a long time since I've seen him, so I'm pretty happy that he's here to support me. And while a hug may not be your standard wrestling move, in this case, tears of joy are welcome. It's not every day I get to see, see him and give my family a big hug these days, so it's like it's, it's a, you know, very, basically it's like something new to me. And I, it's very touching to be able to have my family in my arms again. The younger Royals say their time apart from Russell is hard, but this unexpected reunion couldn't have been better. Oh, it's pretty cool. I feel kind of special. It's a little tough being away from any kind of family or anything like that. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, really good to be home. Now, Jesse and Taylor only have a brief visit with their big brother home. Seaman Royal is set to head back to Japan early next week. You know, I, I, I really don't think I should present this award to us. And I have somebody that I would really like to present this award to you. And that person is PFC Sean Dasher. <laughs> from Tampa International Airport, where it all went down earlier today. Good evening, Rebecca. Good evening, Wendy. I have to say that I've covered a lot of these reunions as a journalist, many right here at Tampa International Airport, but this one was really special for me. It's the first time in a long time that I have personally been brought to tears, and this particular reunion, and you'll see why, actually gave me chills. Okay, I don't see her. Carol Howard anxiously waited at the gate to the American Airlines terminal at Tampa International Airport, counting the minutes before she'd see her daughter's face, before she'd hold her again for the first time in 16 months. There she is. Then the doors to the shuttle opened, and out came the young woman Carol calls a scrapper, Private First Class Cassandra Lewis, and Carol 
couldn't wait any longer. After 16 months of emails and phone calls, this mom really knows her baby is okay. And for the soldier's little brother who's following in her footsteps, this moment is his reassurance he's making the right decision as he deals with being deployed in December. You ready to go home? Then in the midst of the tears, the relief and the joy, came the voice of an angel. Marcus, listen to the song they're playing. But where was the voice coming from? Nine-year-old Aliyah Ocasio, the granddaughter of a Korean War veteran, told me that was the least she could do to say, welcome home, soldier. She's helping our country and all that, and I'm really proud of that, and I like that. But before I joined the Army and before I deployed, it, it was a song, like, you know, it was our national anthem, but then once you, once you truly fight for it and you, you do lose battle buddies and you do... You do go through some rough times in war, then you, you learn to, you, the song means so much more. So much more to this family of soldiers whose sacrifice can truly never be repaid. And Private First Class Lewis is not done just yet. She'll be redeployed in January. This time she'll be headed to Afghanistan. Her baby brother will be headed to Iraq in December. Their mom tells me that the next year or so is going to be filled with a lot of worry and a lot of fear, but she said mostly with a lot of pride. We're live at Tampa International Airport tonight. Rebecca Medina, ABC. This dude, CJ, emotional right now. Come on, this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. How you feel? How you feel? How you feel? Oh, man. So, I feel... Okay. So, I just graduated from front school. My brother and sister were really excited to me to see me. Now, they think I'm on a bus to North Carolina to Fort Bragg. But I came home. I'm here to surprise him. Alright? So, I think I can go get him. My mom's gonna record him. It's I need help. We had to bring everything back. Just start helping grab. Damn it. I got a text from just now. Hang on. The fact that he couldn't take. Hang on, I got a text from him. What? <laughs> <laughs> 
I guess you get tricked up in that. How does that happen? Oh, really? Okay. 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 <laughs> what? Did you know this problem? No. no. <laughs> we can tell anybody. Depending on what anybody knows. Was <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. that a good surprise? <laughs> Are you happy now? Now yeah, do you see why it was like, oh my god, give it a rest. He's <laughs> gonna go to my game. Where? He's gonna have to do well, look at he can go see you when your guys' games. He can go to your guys' games and stuff. March thirty fifth, am I? So how do you think it went? Well, yeah. <laughs> All right, and that's just a big old surprise. I was expecting something stupid to happen because you guys like when she tries to explain something, she's like. <laughs> Like that, she's always like, "Oh, she tried to have a smile all the time." Who? You? No, I didn't. Yeah, you were like, you like. Just stop. My husband is far closer than the neighbors in the army too. Great math, what's up? I didn't even see. I didn't even notice. So we're not having meatloaf for dinner. Why? Because we're not having you doing here. My daughter, Stacy, my son, Eric, and my wife, Deb. Sergeant First Class Rick Fuller has waited since last spring to see his grandkids again. And Tuesday afternoon, in the teacher's lounge at Thomas Jefferson School in Milan, the wait continued a few minutes more. This is going to be a total surprise. They don't even know I'm here. When protests broke out in Egypt, the military canceled the Fuller family's trip to visit him, so he came home instead. Yeah. Safely stowed out of view, his grandchildren's classes filed into the cafeteria for what they thought was an assembly with the Red Cross. Boys and girls, we have a very special presentation today from... But then, Grandpa walked in. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. A soldier's homecoming, complete with tears from his daughter and family, applause from his grandchildren's classmates. Mission accomplished. Uh, I love you guys. Yeah, you too. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've seen you. Yeah. Who did you see walk into the room? Grandpa. Yeah? And what did you do? Go right up to him and hug him. I was so surprised. I didn't even know he was coming. Did you like it? <laughs> Were you surprised? What do you want to do with your grandpa while he's home? I want to spend a lot of time with him. I never knew he was coming. I want to hear about what he did in Egypt and spend some time with him. I got to leave on the 6th again of next month. Cameron, what do you want to do with Grandpa while he's home? Sit with him. Sit with him? Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, some stories? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Do you want to hear about Egypt? Mm-hmm. You guys have a present. Can we open it? Check the card first. What does it say? It's my Easy present from Kiki Kiki and Jordan. From who hears your prayers, Merry Christmas. Why don't you lift up the box? Remember that person I had to go pick up at the airport? It was a Nana. It was Daddy. Oh, 
Rush. Ta -da. Oh. Turn around, guys. Everybody, say cheese. The brothers. Are you guys happy? Happy. They're excited. All right, we're going to take a picture now. Abby, you can open it now. Sorry is living and breathing. <laughs>